station. This is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston Station, ready for the event. Hello! Uh-oh, where did you go? There we go. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm right here. Hi, this is so cool! Hi, this is so cool! I think so, too. I love it. Steve, Steve and Bowen, thank you so much for doing this with us. Okay. First things first, um, you know, uh, talk about how long you've been there. How has it been um, aboard the space station uh, thus far? I know you've done several, you know, space flights here, but talk about this one in particular that you're doing. Yeah, this, this flight is very different from anything I'd done before. Uh, my three previous flights, you know, more than 10 years ago, they were all space shuttle flights and they were only about you know, 10 days to two weeks long on board space station. So we helped build the space station. Now getting the chance to live on board for six months, it's a totally different uh, experience. Uh, you take uh, about six weeks to get adapted to living here and you kind of get used to it and you get more efficient and you get to, tra you know, your transitions as you move around the space station get a lot better. Uh, just, it's a totally different experience. And it's been incredible. We got up here in March after uh, a successful launch on uh, Falcon 9 and our uh, Dragon vehicle got us stocked, and we'll be here till probably the end of next month or so. Amazing. Okay, you talked about transitions. What's been the biggest transition you've had to adapt to being there so long? Um, pretty much the biggest transition to being here so long is myself and my body and understanding, and uh, as it gets more adapted uh, to living on space and everything that goes along with that, uh, the lack of this microgravity environment we exist in, you know, because I can kind of just float around here and, uh, but everything floats. So when you open up a bag or a locker, all the things float away and you got to chase them down and getting those skills and getting those habits established are really, really important. And that's a big part of our adaptation. I love that. Talk about a new normal. So. You know, we know you're from Cohasset. A lot of New Englanders watching, of course, wanting to see you um, and talk about your experience. And folks who are interested in going down this path as well, um, talk about kind of your education experience and, and any ties from being in this area that maybe you're applying to where you are right now. Yeah, and uh, I really think it was a product of the, the time and the location, you know, I mean, uh, just uh, New England, Cohasset, the, uh, I went to public schools, but the time period I was growing up, you know, NASA was in a very dynamic this, uh, process. We had Apollo, we had Skylab. Uh, by the time I was in high school, about 10th grade, we started flying the space shuttle. So that experience and seeing that, I think uh, really, it probably helped me become an engineer more than anything else. It really allowed me to, to focus and think, this is really amazing stuff, and I can probably, you know, be a part of it if I work really hard. And uh, so I graduated from the from uh, Cohasset, went to the Naval Academy, and from there I chose a submarine force. Uh, after that, I did end up coming back to MIT, uh, which was really kind of nice to come back home and go to graduate school. And I applied to become an astronaut. I got incredibly fortunate to become an astronaut, and uh, I really think that's sort of a roll of the dice. Uh, they had about 18,000 people applied. We we ended up picking uh, well 8,000 my year. And we put, picked uh, 17, and I think the last time they had like 18,000, and they picked eight or something ridiculous like wow. that. It's so incredibly, incredibly fortunate to be here. Wow, wow. amazing. I, talk about some of the work that you're going to be doing for the remainder of your time and that you have been doing on board. Well, what I don't think people realize is that this is a national laboratory. If you look around, you know, on the walls and uh, every one of these bays, there's a, another experiment, essentially, or a systems rack that actually keeps the uh, space station operating. So uh, there's hundreds of experiments going on on board all the time, some of which we do need to participate in and, and get our hands in and help process, and we spend time fixing the racks. But we also are part of the experiment, you know, understanding how the human body reacts in this microgravity environment and the long duration uh, experience in space is really a big part of the science that we are doing. Uh, we've done 
uh, modifications to the space station while we've been on board. And it's just a, it's an incredible national laboratory that's been continuously manned for tw almost 23 years. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Well, it's amazing talking to you and learning about the work that you're doing. Is there anything that you can share with us that maybe, you know, giving us a window into your world there on the ISS, what are some things that might surprise people uh, on board there and that you're discovering just being there for so long? Uh, that's an interesting question. I really haven't <laughs> I thought too much about it. I, I think the realization that, uh, you know, this is a laboratory and, you know, we're doing hundreds of experiments all the time, whether we're directly involved or not. I mean, so much of what's going on here is absolutely incredible. Uh, and it's it's hard to, to grasp uh, the impact. And also it's, it's basic research. So it's really looking at how things react to these aspects of this environment. And ultimately, you know, the goal is to make life better on earth and you know, allow us to live further and further in space as well. So again, like I mentioned earlier, uh, I grew up in a very dynamic time for NASA and, and we're right back in that again. Uh, I've had friends that work, been there 20, 30 years, have said this is the most exciting time to be uh, in space. Absolutely, I mean, what an honor to be a part of that and to be there and seeing you, a local guy who's done amazing work and continuing to do amazing work. We really appreciate your time and sharing with us. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much for having me on. Really appreciate it. And uh, enjoy the summer up there. Uh, I'll hopefully get up in that area sometime in the fall. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes our event. Thank you to all participants from CNN and WCVB. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications.